We've looked closely at circles, so now let's examine ellipses. Ellipses are very much like circles. There's just one exception. The distance we go in the x direction will be different from the distance we go in the y direction. So sometimes we might move further from the center in the x direction than we would vertically in the y direction. And other times we might go further in the y direction from the center than we would in the x direction from the center. We'll see a lot of similarities between circles and ellipses, so let's try looking at a circle first. There's this amazing online graphing calculator called Desmos. If you've never heard of it, I highly recommend that you check it out. It allows us to easily enter in equations and we can instantly see what the graph looks like. For now, we're going to look at the equation of a circle, but if you ever want to play around with this on your own, go to www.desmos.com. You can create your own account and then start to draw and save your own graphs. For circles, we know they have equal amounts of x squared and y squared. And if we take the square root of this number, we'll get 6. That's the radius of our circle, the distance to any point from the center to another point on the circle. But what if we wanted to graph this equation? Notice that we have different amounts of x squared and y squared now. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let you know that this will be the graph of an ellipse. So let's see how we can graph it ourselves. First, we'll take the equation and we'll divide through by the number 36. When we divide each term by 36, we'll get 1 4th x squared here, 1 9th y squared here, and 1 on the other side of the equal sign. So we're going to ignore our first equation of the circle for now. We've taken this equation and rearranged it into this. Now, can you tell me what are the two x-intercepts?